Today, we'll be taking a quick look at one of Photoshop's most versatile and powerful features, layer masks. You can add a mask to a layer and then use the mask to hide or mask portions of that layer out. To create a layer mask, first you'll need a layer over some kind of background. With the image layer selected, click on the Add Layer Mask button found on the bottom of the layer panel, right in the middle. The icon is of a square with a circle in the middle. Click the layer mask, the white box, ensuring that it's active. Now, with a brush set to black, you can mask out any part of that shape. You can mask things back in using white. Nothing is ever truly gone with layer masks. You use black to erase and white to recover. Here, I created some star-shaped selections and then masked them in with a black brush. You may notice if you move your layer around, your mask will follow and stay attached to your layer. This is indicated by the chain link icon that is located between the layer and layer mask icons. However, you can unlink the layer and layer mask, allowing you to move the layer and layer mask independently of each other. Finally, if for any reason you want to permanently apply your layer mask, you can right click, apply layer mask. Once a layer mask is applied, whatever is masked out will become permanently deleted and the layer will turn back into a normal rasterized layer. And you are free to add a new layer mask. And there you have it. Layer masks are what make photo composites even possible, allowing us to blend dozens of images together to create one cohesive new piece of art. So as always, keep experimenting. And if you're looking to learn more, why not check out one of the other wonderful tutorials that Tuts Plus has to offer.